But so with these two props on each end of it, what happens is you can make short but stern, short little pops of your rod tip and, and they won't move very far. The bait won't move very far as far as distance getting away from the bed. But these little props will spin, they'll throw water and they'll actually agitate the fish enough most times into biting, but even if not, just like we were talking about, this technique is kind of twofold. If they don't bite it, they'll show themselves. But the, the interesting thing about this, once again, is that you can, you can make it have a lot of action just with very short but stern twitches of your rod tip, and it makes a, a really interesting sound. Like, shoop, shoop. But one of the biggest things about this that, that not too many people do is you have to work a prop bait extremely slowly and when I say extremely slowly I mean a lot of times what I'll do let's just take say we can see the bed you, you know you can see a, a light spot out there you know on a flat for you guys that fish the Tennessee River a lot a lot of times beds on the Tennessee River will actually be a dark spot because there's so much uh, gravel on the bottom that, that the fish will fan off and it'll actually turn to the darker gravel instead of a light spot but, but that's a whole nother story too. Um, but when you're looking around, a lot of times I like to cast the, the prop bait past the target or the bed um, and then kind of straight reel it up to where I think I'm almost to the bed and then just kill it. And literally, I know this is gonna be hard, but count to 15 or 20. Like really let it sit there for a long time. Give it one or two sharp little twitches, make it shoo, shoo, but if, if done properly, when you give the twitch, you twitch back. And what you're doing when you twitch back is you're throwing slack back in there so you're not pulling that bait. So, so what happens is, and you don't realize when it's, when it's 30 feet away, when it's 50 feet away from you, when you do this, a little sharp twitch to, make, to, to engage the props, make the bait move, what you don't realize is if you make the twitch and you hold your rod in that same position, your line still has a little tension on it and it will actually drag that bait for a foot, maybe a foot and a half. So you've already lost, in my opinion, your territory. And what I mean by territory is say a bass bed is, is this big, okay? His, his place where he's gonna be the most agitated is somewhere inside that circle. So if I cast, you know, we're like this, so if I cast this bait over here and I reel it up to the bed and stop it, 15, 20 seconds, do my little and it moves to right here, man, I still have a lot of territory to agitate that bass into biting. If I do my little and keep the rod tip down, then I, the bait moves, it moves, and then it drifts a foot or so. Well, look, all, all this territory that I still had to agitate that fish, by just having that little tension in my line, that bait has drifted that far. I'm already, I'm already I got two more twitches, and, and I'm out of his zone. So when you do the twitch, throwing slack back at the line I mean, is so very important. And what most people don't, don't realize that having that little bit of tension actually drags that bait, even though the props aren't turning or anything, but it's still gently moving. And like I say, you're, you're getting past your territory that you have to agitate that fish. People don't realize just that little bit of tension because when it's 50 feet out there, you don't, and, and it's coming at you, obviously, you don't really see that. But if you watch it from the, if you could watch yourself fish from the side, you would be surprised how far that bait is drifting even when you're not doing anything with it. And especially when we're talking about having the bait sitting there for 15 seconds, 20 seconds in, in between times when you're moving the bait, it, it's amazing how far that bait will drift. So that's probably, if you guys get nothing out of all this stuff I'm telling you, that's probably the biggest takeaway is making sure and the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, 
and become a better angler quickly.